What Matthew Stafford was able to do leads me to my fast five defensive stats to know. And the Vikings defense was supposed to be good, right? Well, Matthew Stafford just burned them for 364 yards and over 28 fantasy points. And over the last two weeks, Minnesota has allowed quarterbacks to throw for an average of 335 yards while averaging 24 fantasy points per game. That's not good unless you started those quarterbacks. At number four, the Chiefs defense against wide receivers. They've allowed the fewest catches per game and the second fewest fantasy points to wide receivers who line up on the outside. And over the last three weeks, the trio of T.Y. Hilton, New Hopkins, Emmanuel Sanders had 152 yards combined. Beware, Packers wide receivers. At number three, the Bengals defense against running backs. I mean, Leonard Fournette just ran all over these cats. 131 yards on Sunday. The Bengals have allowed the most rushing yards per game, the most yards per carry, and the most fantasy points per game to opposing running backs this season. Todd Gurley, go have some fun overseas this weekend. At number two, the Saints defense against running backs. David Montgomery was held to six rushing yards and fewer than two fantasy points. The Saints have now gone 29 straight games without allowing a 100-yard rusher. The last one came in week 11 of 2017. That was Samaje Pirine, believe it or not. The Saints have also not allowed a running back to put up more than 18 points in a single game this season. And at number one, the Bears defense against running backs. I thought the Bears were supposed to be good or something, but Latavius Murray just put up two touchdowns and over 30 fantasy points against them. The Bears have now allowed 140 plus total yards, two touchdowns, and over 29 fantasy points to each of the last two running backs they have faced. Well, maybe Melvin Gordon and Austin Eckler are actually good starts against Chicago in week 